you want to become really good on a topic online, it can be anything, fashion, a passion you have, a sport, anything, you probably read a lot about it. Let's say environment. I don't know much about the environment, but I'd like to know more about the environment. Then a good way to do it is to read the blogs and the sites which have feeds. The best way to follow them is probably Google Reader. So go on Google Reader and aggregate the sources that you like the most. If I wanted to start a Save the Planet blog and be really good on social networking around Save the Planet, I would go and aggregate the best sources. So best experts, best news sources. You know, I would find thousands of them, but it's all about finding maybe the top 50. And if your topic is really, really narrow, like the French community in Miami, that's a real example, they did a site actually, then you could aggregate the best sources about that. Read, so it's good for you already. It's really, really good for you to learn and be on top of, on top of it. For example, I, I read an hour or two a day almost around social networking and more entrepreneurship just because that's the topic I really like. Then you need to share. Google Reader is a social network on its own. You can comment on posts, you can share on Google Reader. If you share, you can have people following you there. Then you can go and add your Google Reader into your Ping FM account. And if you do this, there is some magic there. If you share something on Google Reader, it will go straight from Ping FM into all your social networks. That's what I do. It's just you know a touch of a button on your iPad or your iPhone, share, just one click on your keyboard. Then it goes to Ping FM automatically, you don't have to do anything and it's shared on Twitter, on Facebook, on Google Buzz, on LinkedIn and so on. You shouldn't be spammy, you should only share things you really think are interesting. Stories you think you would tell your friends to read, that's exactly how I've been doing it. And it's value for them because they also like that topic if they follow you. And it will help build your following and fans just because they will generally retweet, like some of them, the ones they like, and so it will each time grow your community.